Hi everyone, this is Tony Ayhan Agmin. What is the requirement actually for E1 visa? The visa holder must show the intent to engage in substantial trade, which is not uh, strictly defined. At least 50% of the volume of the trade carry out must be between the United States and the designated treaty country principal trade, which is the, the country of the, the business person or the trade that trader that's going to do the trade. The trade could be in the form of physical movement of the goods, transportation, or non-physical services, including banking, insurance, tourism, technology, or journalism. The visa holder must be national of the one of the three countries. This requirement does not apply to actually family members. It only applies to the main invest, you know, the, the trader or the employee. The person has to be the national of the treaty country. As with other U.S. visa terms, the applicant should be prepared to provide evidence that they intend to return to their home countries at the end of their visa period. So this is not like an indefinite, you know, even though it says that you can, you know, extend it indefinitely, but you, you cannot just get the EV, you know, E1 visa, just say that, oh, I'll be there forever. There's going to be time limit, but each time you would like to renew, you're going to be able to do it.